Ramsey Show. I'm Amy. And I'm Scott. First this week, we're going to have an interview with Miss Peterson. Then the Rams update with Ben and Peter. And then we're going to have a how-to to protect yourself from the sun. Now for the question of the week. If you could be any person for a day, who would you be and why? Person for a day, who would it be? You seem bold. Why? Oh. Fastest man alive. Any person, who would it be? I'd be Deadpool. Why? Because he's an awesome superhero. If you could be any person for a day, who would it be? Tarzan. Tarzan? Yeah. Why? Because he's like crazy. Alright then, if you could be anyone for a day, who would it be? Sandra. Why? Because she's my best friend. Okay, thanks. If you could be anyone for a day, who would it be? Um, Desire. Why? Because, um, like, I like her house because it's so calm and quiet, and her baby brother's so loud. I'd be Batman because he has awesome cars, awesome gadgets, and because he's Batman. If you could be any person, who would it be? It'd be Elmo. Why? Because he he's always the bomb. Cool answers, Ramsey. Now for the interview with Miss Peterson. We are here with Miss Peterson to ask her some questions. So what do you do here at Ramsey? I am teaching Spanish this year. What do you like most about teaching? The thing that I like the most about teaching is my students. How long have you been a teacher? For 25 years. What are some of your favorite moments of this year? I think I have many favorite moments, but um, I would choose the field trips. Uh, the field trip to um, Boca Chica restaurant with my students was very nice. We had a lot of fun seeing them ordering food and using a little bit of their Spanish. I think it was wonderful. I have some parents coming with us. and. It was very nice to see the parents involved. And also, um, here in the classroom, I think every day is a good moment. I really enjoyed this year. The kids are doing so well. Um, I really enjoy every single moment. Yeah, I love my kids. I love my classes. My classes are wonderful. That's <laughs> yeah. good. I also heard that you're Colombian. Can you tell us a little bit about Colombia? Yeah, I am from Colombia. I am from Manizales yes. in the mountains. Um, Manizales, the size of Manizales is like St. Paul. Uh, we have what is called vertical weather. Um, if you go high in the mountain, it's very cold. If you go down in the mountain, it's very hot. So the weather in my city is between 55 and 70 degrees a year around. So that is the reason that we grow the best coffee in the world. So I am from the coffee plantation. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Peterson. Now for the Rams update with Ben and Peter. I'm Peter. And I'm Ben. And welcome back to the Rams update. For baseball, Ramsey beat Battle Creek 12 to 6 last week. On Tuesday, girls track got second and boys tied for six. We will have badminton results next week. Based on the votes made last week, Ramsey's school name will not be changed. They won two-thirds of the votes. Now let's see the student of the month. Hello, my name is Mr. Freeman. I'm here today to uh, celebrate the student of the month for uh, Ramsey Middle School for each grade. We have two per grade. So first one we have uh, Talisha Jones. Uh, Ms. Diaz nominated her. And uh, what she wrote is, you are... Uh, you have been working really hard and doing a great job getting your work done. And you are a great addition to the class. Here you go, Talisha. Congratulations. You. Next we have Amani Wilson, and she was nominated by uh, Ms. Sned and also Mr. Moden. Uh, Ms. Sned writes, um, Amani works hard and contributes to the classroom community with her humor. Uh, coming to class with a great attitude and working really hard. You are an example of a motto math student that others can look forward 
to her good habits. Next we have Sal Chang, uh, who was the seventh grade a student of the month. His quiet nature is calming, his desire to learn is huge, and his ability to achieve is endless. All right. So there you go. Congratulations. All right. All right. Next we have Charles Johnson. Uh, Charles is a scholar and a gentleman. His work ethic is outstanding. His ability to complete tasks is commendable. He is a thinker and is very knowledgeable. Charles, congratulations. Thank you. All right. You pick All right. Our next winner is uh, Kate Curtis. Kate is an awesome TA. She comes with a smile on her face and ready to help out. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you. Our last winner is Amr. Amr is an excellent student and very respectful. He is always motivated to learn. It is a pleasure to have him in my class this year. Sincerely, Ms. Peterson. Congratulations. Last week, the National Junior Honor Society held a soccer tournament during the dance. The winners are Brian, Passad, Emmanuel, Almer, and A. Let's see what else is going on around Ramsey. I'm Peter. And I'm Ben. And this has been the Rams Update. Hello, friends and Rams. We are AVID students here to tell you why you should join AVID next year. AVID stands for Advanced Via Individual Determination. AVID is a place where you can get help with work you don't understand. AVID helps you better prepare for your future. AVID is a place where you can build up your confidence and work on your Cornell note-taking skills. AVID is a safe place where you, where you are not judged by how you look, but by who you are. AVID has definitely prepared us for the future. AVID pushes you to be the best you can be. AVID helps you become organized and builds up your social skills. And also, if you stick with AVID throughout all your high school years, you can get a scholarship to a college. Because you get tutoring and we get to have lots of fun. Avid is a diverse group of students. We learn a lot from each other. Avid is really fun too. We get to go on field trips and play philosophical chairs which is basically a big debate against each other. Avid is great and none of us regret joining Avid so come sign up uh, today for the next school year. Sign up today! Hi, you Ramsey Rams. We are going to be talking about the end of the year field trip. This is going to be a school-wide field trip and you must abide by these behavior guidelines. No more than five tardies, no suspensions, no dismissals, no EIP, no Saturday school, and no more than two behavior referrals. Alright, so that wraps it up for all of the rules. So if all of you Ramsey Rams want to go to Valley Fair, you have to make sure that you be on your best behavior. I'm Scott. And I'm Amy. And this has been the Ramsey Show. And as you can see, I got a tan. Action. Welcome back to the Rams Update with... Hold on. Nope, Ramsey, Ramsey Show. show. No. You're the anchor. <laughs> Ramsey, this is you wrote these scripts, Amy. <laughs> yeah, this is sad. If you could be any person, who would it be? Myself. That was funny. Yeah, that wasn't funny. Yes, it was. Whoa, that was me. Got it. I got it. From watching a video. I know, but that was. No, I got it. How did this turn into a bro hug? Turn that off.